Hey, we got a second e-bike. You must not have heard me. We got a second e-bike in the driveway. A second e-bike, a second e-bike, it's right here. At least it's supposed to be. Got it. This dog didn't act too impressed when I told him that we got another e-bike, but they obviously don't speak English. Oh yeah. Ah, but you wanna watch the show, huh? Let's see how it is. Can't pull one over on me, you rascal there. Don't act like you're not stoked about chasing me on this friggin' thing. It definitely folds up like a pancake, that is for sure. Look at it, you got the handlebars here, the front part of the frame here, the rear, nope, I flipped that around. Handlebar, rear part of the frame, front part of the frame. Yes, yes, that's a seat. Yeah. I got the best knife money can buy right now. The, be the best knife Cole can buy. Cole actually bought it for me for Christmas. Nice guy. Yep, that's convenient. They must have raced this thing right into this box. The chain's off. They must have just sped right into there. Snap, crackle, pop. Okay, so EUY's bike here, they have the skinny tires, where the Polarna has the wider tires. It'll be interesting to see which one goes further. Does the Polarna have a slightly bigger battery to compensate for this? Or is it just like dirt bikes and just about anything else in general, there's one specific bike for each kind of niche? This thing's even got a VIN number, holy smokes. Let's keep unpacking. We got a charger here. Wow. It's got its own air pump. Wow. That is pretty neat. Let's see if I've cut enough stuff to allow this thing to unfold. Interesting. When I was a kid, when I was in fifth grade, fifth grade, my parents agreed that us kids deserved four-wheelers. We somehow did something right or something where they agreed to buy us four-wheelers, which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. Now, I got a, a Yamaha 350 and they, you know, at the dealership, they put the whole four-wheeler together and you just kind of drive it onto the trailer and then you're ready to go. Well, this thing, you kind of got to put it together yourself but it comes with the tools like it's it's got an allen wrench kit it's got the thing that you need to pump up the tires like other than sending a, like a mechanic you don't need anything so so far i'm gonna race you big guy you, you better be ready okay i'm done uh terrorizing marshall let's see how did these work this must go up or go down okay it literally is that easy it's like the slap chop. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get this chain back on here. That was easy peasy. Air is slightly low. How can we resolve that? Well, Dalton, got this nice little thing. And if you're not familiar with what it is, it says right on there, the palm. Pump, pump, pump it up. P-U-M-P it up. You're probably supposed to use your foot, but I'm already in this position. I already got it dialed, I already got the technique. I'm sending it. Rear tires got air. Front tire. Put a little on air. As far as I see it, there's only two more pieces that have to be inserted. Part number one. Now, uh, where does the second piece go? Where do you put the key in? What the heck? The key goes there. Really? I guess we didn't necessarily have to utilize this key because I think this is just to take the battery out of it. Send your back down. Cinching. See, she cinched. Try to say that one three times fast. 
Come on, try to say it. Let, let's test this thing out. Now that she's cinched. Oh, now you're excited, huh? Yeah. Yes, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Hey, that's my box. Yeah. Oh, these dogs are psyched. Archer Marshall, Archer Monet. Yeah. Oh. Holy cats. Holy dogs. So on this one, you got your horn. Here, protective plastic. And then your mode selector here. You got just on and off, it seems. And then plus or minus, you put it in your mode. You ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? Rap, rap. Ah! You dogs will never catch me! I've created a mission for the dogs! Alright, we're in two. We're going easy on them. Now we're gonna crank it. So you guys think you got it in ya? Huh? To keep up with this? With the old EUI? Come on, Marshall, let's go! Yeah! He quit! He, he knows that I'm too quick for him. Marshall, come on, don't be a quitter. They're like, I'm tired. <laughs> come on, you guys, let's go, let's go. I've only put probably a mile on this thing going up and down the driveway. Marshall's already got to get into the water. <laughs> come on, Marshall. I didn't drink anything yet. I'm gonna sit here for a second and just see if I've caused them enough, or depleted enough energy from these guys that they'll lay down. Yep, there's one. <laughs> There's number two. <laughs> I haven't even gone fast on it yet. I just learned something. It's got a twist rattle. There we go. It's like a dirt bike. Brap, brap, brap. I like that. Sitting around, you know, not pedaling or anything, and then give it the old twist of the wrist. We're going. Yeah. Uh, Dad wants to be a victim. Okay, Dad, so you gotta put that kickstand up. You gotta put the Crocs in four wheel drive in order to get that accomplished. Okay, he's got that. Now it's in, it's in second gear. You do your shift in here and there. Horn just in case you need to notify anybody. And then, yeah, you're already in the fastest speed. It'll just kind of assist you once you start going. It's probably been like 40 years since you've been on a bike. Get him guys, yeah! I haven't really gotten it up to speed. How fast you go? 18 is the mark to beat. That, that seems easy. Well, flip those suckers into four wheel drive, you'll go faster. What do you mean four wheel drive? Your Crocs. When you put the backs on them, you get more speed out of them. He's already rode them more than I have. How fast? 21.9. <laughs> In seventh gear. Came with a full battery, he didn't even have to charge it. This guy, on the other hand, he needs a charge. So now that we got two of these things, it'd be interesting to get Jake the Toilet Snake on one and I'm on the other. Hopefully Jake the Toilet Snake is up for challenge.